Hey guys, just one final video for the night, and I just want to react to the wild overtime game we had today in Cincinnati. What a game. Overtime, I mean, five missed field goals for both teams. Three by the Bengals. I mean, three by the Packers, two by the Bengals. My, oh my. What a thriller of a game. I mean, <laughs> I mean, over time, summarize it really quickly. I mean, the fact that Joe Burrow threw an interception, Crosby missed the kick, they drive, Bengals drive it back down the field, and then McPherson misses the 49 yard kick, thinking that he made it initially, but he didn't. And then. Crosby comes and redeems himself after Rodgers throws a 18-yard dime to Randall Cobb. Oh my goodness, it was just a wild game. But I'm not impressed with I'm not impressed with the Packers as much as I am impressed with the Bengals. I think the Bengals showed me that they are a legitimate team. I I don't care that they lost to the Bears, but who are three and two by the way right now? And Justin Fields is only getting better week by week. Uh, and then they lost to the Packers in a really good game. Packers have shown that they're back to the Packers we knew last year. Both the Packers and Bills, you know, they started out really, they started off with a loss and then they've just been really good since then. But I think the Bengals are legit. Their defense is legit with the addition of Trey Hendrickson. Their, cor their secondary has been stellar, you know, knock knocking away some good throws by Aaron Rodgers. I'm just, I'm just blown away with this, with this Bengals team. I mean, I, I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs, but I think that they're going to be a comp competitive team this year. And, you know, I, I'm really optimistic about this. I'm really optimistic about the Bengals right now. I mean, I kind of did touch up on this last week when I reacted to the Jaguars versus the Bengals. But, I mean, I think that the Bengals are going to be very, very good this year. Their next game will be against the Detroit Lions. That one's going to be a tough one. I think the Lions are definitely the best losing team in the NFL. I mean, they're definitely in the top in the losing. I don't care what the record says. That team plays their hearts out, and I think that they deserve some respect. Put some respect on their name for Detroit. They fought their hearts out, too. I mean, the Ravens and the Vikings both got some heartbreaking field goals against them. That one's going to be a tough one, but I think the Bengals could definitely win that one. And then they head on to the, they head to the road to play the Ravens. If they upset, I think they can upset the Ravens. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, with how good their secondary is, and if Trey Hendrickson just adds that level to the defense, to the interior defense, I think that they can upset the Ravens. To be honest, then they face the Jets, then the Browns, Raiders, Steelers, Chargers. I mean, 49ers. Broncos, Ravens again, Chiefs, and Browns. I mean, yes, their schedule is a little tough, but I believe that this, I think that the Bengals could be competitors for the playoffs this year. If you really look at it, I mean, they, they may not make it. I will grant that, but I'm just want to, I'm, I'm just blown away with how amazing the Bengals have played this year. I really want to shout them out. Like, I think that the Bengals will be one of the top teams in the AFC here in a few years. And I think it starts with what Joe Burrow is doing with and what that offense is doing, what that defense is building. I think next, I think in the next one or two years, the Bengals will be, you know, up there. They will definitely. They'll be competing with the Browns and Ravens at a high, high level 
as well as the Steelers, but we don't know what the Steelers are going to look like after the Roethlisberger era. It's just, I am blown away. And I, I thought, I'm proud of the Packers too. I, for the Packers insight, I think the Packers are looking like a, having another really solid year. They'll definitely, the NFC is very interesting. We're just going to have to wait to see what happens when they all start playing each other. Of course, the Rams... I mean, I know the Packers are playing the Cardinals. I think the Rams will play the Packers too. And my, oh my, is this going to be, it's just, we're, we're starting to set ourselves up for some crazy matchups next week. And I'm curious to see what the, will happen with the Steelers and Seahawks next weekend. That will be a very interesting game. But I mean, I, I think the, the Bengals are legit now, officially legit. And I wouldn't be surprised if they made the playoffs. Expect this team to get better each week. And expect the best performance you can see out of Joe Burrow each week. Don't let his two dis interceptions deceive you. He led his team very well today. And I'm proud of Joe Burrow, as always. And I'm proud of Jamar Chase. I'm proud of Joe Mixon. Proud of all of them for what they've done. Thank you guys for watching. What are you guys' thoughts on the Bengals? Let me know down below. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.